Make it breaks with the earth by human labor. What did the people do in their conspiracy to rebel against God? They made bricks and burned them thoroughly. Apparently, this is a simple story, and even little children are familiar with it. However, the deeper significance of this matter is profound. According to the whole revelation of the Bible, God's building has never been with any kind of bricks. God's building is with stones. Eventually, the New Jerusalem will be built with precious stones. Stones are different from bricks. Stones are God-made. Bricks are man-made. Precious stones are not only God-made but also God-transformed. Bricks are made by man with the earth. At Babel, man burned the earth. The mud into bricks to build a city and a tower. Pharaoh also built his treasure cities out of bricks. Now we need to allegorize this portion of the holy world in order to see what this story signifies. According to the biblical record, the earth is for growing life. Growing life requires certain elements. The earth has all the elements necessary for producing life. Even we grow physically with the elements found in the earth, the meat, vegetables, and cereal we eat all come from the earth. All of the nourishing and growing elements in these foodstuffs come out of the earth. Thus, the earth contains the elements needed to grow life. What does it mean to make bricks? It is for the sake of man's building, to kill. To burn every bit of the element in the earth that grows life. If you have the insight, you will realize that today every society, every human culture is burning the earth into bricks. The schools, for instance, kill the element that grows life, burning it in order to make bricks. In figure, the earth signifies humanity. The rebellion instigated by Satan. Kills the element within man that grows life by burning it out, and it means uses man to build something against God. This happened at Babel, and in the same principle, it has happened throughout human history. To make bricks requires human labor. It was a great deal of labor. Since man has denied God, man has to labor so that he might build up something. All of human history is a record of man's building by human labor with the misused of mankind. This was the way that Babel was built with the misused of plus human labor, building a city to have a man-made, godless life. The building by human labor with the misused of is simply to build up a man-made, godless life. The city built at Babel. Grow nothing. It was godless and lifeless. Look at human culture, at society, and at the situation throughout the world. What are the people doing? They are burning the earth into bricks in order to build up a city that is without God and without life. This is today's society. Every society is at Babel, is a Babel. Today's society is built up with bricks made by men. Who burn the element that grows life out of the earth created by God? Every organization in today's society is burning the earth into bricks and building up a Babel that is godless and lifeless. Have you ever seen a society that is not doing this? If you have seen such a thing, it must be the church. The church does not burn the earth. The church plows the earth and sows seed into it. The church is not building up a lifeless and godless city; it is building up a city that is godly and full of life. The building in the church is with precious stones, not with bricks that come out of burning the earth. Not only in secular society, but even to some degree in so-called Christian society. In Christianity. People are burning the earth into bricks. They are burning to death the element that grows life in order to build up a city that is godless and lifeless. I hope that everyone in the church will see the difference between the church and any type of society. The church is unique in that it does not burn the earth. The church plows the earth, 
so seed it to eat and waters it, that life seed which is Christ will grow and produce materials for the building up of God's holy city. This is what the church is doing here. However, every other society, including many of the so-called Christian groups, are burning the element that grows life for the purpose of building up a city that is godless and lifeless. But here in the church, life we are not burning the earth, we are watering it. We are doing the work of planting and growing. We are plowing, sowing, watering and growing. We are not burning or killing. We do have a building, the building of God, but it is not built with man-made bricks or by human labor. It is built with God-created and transformed stones and by the divine work.